Now, Carl, what will we see out of this winter storm? Uh, well, <laughs> we won't get very much from that. I mean, the lake effect snow really is close to areas right by the lake, and there will be some snow that gets into uh, the northern portion of our viewing area. But right now, these active alerts are for uh, areas in Crawford, Erie, over towards Warren and McKean and Potter counties, too. So uh, certainly keeping that in mind that this is still ongoing. There's still snow that is impacting all of the uh, areas around the Great Lakes. There's actually uh, lake effect snow coming off of all five Great Lakes and Georgian Bay. I've um, been Canada too. It's pretty impressive to see that you just have to have the right setup for it to happen and it is taking place. And so Erie is getting spared right now. But as this sh band shifts a little further south, it will start to move this back closer towards areas as you get in towards uh, Harbor Creek and over towards Erie and out towards areas uh, closer to about Meadville. You'll get some light snow shower activity today, but uh, I-79, I-90 still could be a little bit tricky at times. Now for us, it is a clean scan right around downtown, clear conditions. The cloud cover is pretty th light at this point, so not much to tell you about there. But what we're, what we're really keeping track of at this point would be just a, a pretty calm day to start. It's not going to be too windy today either. We'll talk about that in a moment. Here comes some of those snow showers as we go into early Monday morning. Some of that may drift into areas like Punxsutawney up towards Newcastle, Elwood City as well. But again, we could have some light snow showers and there could be some accumulation by the time we get to about Monday. I would say north of I-80, you do have a chance at a coating, possibly an inch of snow from this. But again, it's not going to be substantial. It's not going to cause serious impacts. But again, there could be a few flurries as we go into Monday as we get closer to areas like Cranberry and Zillianople as well. But notice that by the time we get to Monday night, things do start to uh, calm down a little bit for areas south of Pittsburgh, but up north, there are some of those lake effect snow bands trying to work their way uh, across part of our viewing area too. So we're going to be keeping close eye on this. There will be chances for snow. It's just not going to be super steady at first, but temperatures right now 18 in Zillianople, 17 in Franklin, 25 in South Strabane, 27 in Waynesburg. So again, it is cold, but it's not as cold as it was yesterday in some spots. And then uh, temperatures, it feels like the single digits further north, but it's not as bad as you get to, uh, closer to downtown and over towards areas uh, like Mount Washington. So here's a look at your seven day forecast. So temperatures today get up to the low 30s. We do have a chance for a few snow showers around and same deal for tomorrow as well. Tuesday does look dry at this point, but then Wednesday that is our next chance for some uh, measurable snow for most areas and then a few flurries around for Thursday as well. And it stays cold as we head into the tail end of the week. Alex?